to Teensy Vintage. This is Teresa. Thanks for joining me today. Today I'm using some Dilutions ink sprays to work on a background. I pulled out a sheet of white cardstock and it just drank up this ink. So there's not much flow happening. So I add some more ink. I add a little water. I even try to spray it with this little little air poof thing. Gosh, I have no idea what this thing is called. A bellows, maybe? Um, anyway, it wasn't doing anything. So I said, you know what? We're just going to go with what we've got here. So we'll have a little bit of a splotchy background. It's okay. We will make it work. Using my small heat uh, gun to dry the ink because I'm going to do some stenciling on top of it. So the Dilutions inks are water soluble, which is great because they'll move around, they'll blend, etc. But for the stenciling, I want to use a permanent ink that is not water, water soluble um, because I don't want it to move around. Also, I don't want to activate um, the colors behind it either. So this is a Tim Holtz stencil. Um, as you can see, it is well loved. Um, it's got some dots. Let's see. I'm trying to remember. I don't remember the name of this one, but I will have all of my supplies listed below in the description box. And of course, if there's anything you see that you have a question about, just ask in a comment. I'm happy to uh, to answer. So I'm just going around the page here and adding in some nice random spots of the polka dot pattern and making sure they're dry. I, I do like how this kind of has a cloud effect to it. it. It looks nice and dreamy. I've also got another smaller stencil that I'm going to use. Now this one is a very fancy flourish. In fact, I think that's what it's called, this fancy flourish. Yes, it's a Kaiser Craft mini um, uh, stencil and I've had this one for a long time. In fact, I forgot I had it. I found it when I was digging around for the polka dots and said, huh, this would be a nice contrast. So instead of the ink, I am using acrylic paint in Payne's Gray because this is uh, a very bold stencil and I actually want this stencil to stand out quite a bit against the dots that I put down. Today's page is interesting because I'm not doing any layering with collage. I am just layering with stencils. And um, this is a nice technique you can do if you don't have any collage papers or you just want to have fun with the stencils that you have. You can make some really great backgrounds with stencils and nothing else. Um, the key is to have fun. I'm just putting the stencil down where there's a spot and it looks like it needs something. You don't need to use the entire surface of the stencil, just use part of it. Because again, we're making layers and we're going to go in and uh, do a little bit of covering up too. So I'm also using my little makeup sponge here to go around the edges of the page just to frame this out and make it look really nice. I'm going to zhuzh the corners a little bit. I don't know. I just think this makes it look a little more um, together. All right. This is looking good. I've got a nice blue and a nice yellow. There's a little tiny bit of green happening. Um, on different paper that wasn't so thirsty, the green and yellow would have blended together in places and made a nice bright green. Um, but this paper is not that paper. All right, so now I'm going to put these stencils away and get them out of the out of the way here. Um, <clears throat> clean up my mess a little bit. It's always good to clean up your paints and inks right after you know, you use them because otherwise they'll dry and then you've got to scrape them off instead of just wipe them off. Now I'm using what is left on the makeup sponge to 
go in and add some darker spots with, with what's left of that Payne's Gray. Just to give it a little bit of shadow. Now I'm going to go in with the same sponge and get some nice light gray because the white gesso is going to mix with the Payne's Gray that's on the sponge. And I know it looks kind of funky right now, but I promise it works out. <laughs> and I'm also going to use my fingers here. Sometimes to get the right effect, it's best just to use your hand because you can literally, uh, you know, determine how much pressure to use. The sponge is great. It's good for coverage. But if you want to have a lot of control and just very lightly blend something, sometimes it is better to just go ahead and use your finger. So now I'm going in with my Stabilo Woody in yellow and just coloring in some scribbles here and there because I'm going to go in with the paper towel and smoosh them a little bit. Oh, sorry, in with the cosmetic sponge in and just kind of smoosh those a little bit. I've got a turquoise colored Stabilo Woody as well and a Neo Colors Aquarelle and it's in greenish blue. So I'm just scribbling and then I'm going to get a wet paintbrush with just a little water and I'm going to add the water to activate the, the Neo Color crayons. And it just gives this beautiful light blue coloring to the areas that I'm adding. Going back in with some more gesso because I want some white spaces so that when I add the color over it, they really pop. So now this, this background is coming together in the sense of there's some very bright spots and there's some other spots, <coughs> excuse me, that have been, you know, kind of dulled and, and pushed back visually. And the key to this is to just keep adding color until you're happy with it. Now I want to add a little bit of paint because I really want this to pop. So here we go with the stencil again. So I'm bringing back the same stencil, but using a yellow. This acrylic is um, a Dina Wakely acrylic, so it's a little bit heavier than your usual craft paint, which is good. I really want it to sit on top of the background and pop. And always pour out just a little bit, because honestly, the paint usually goes further than you think it will, and you will waste less. There we go. I'm just taking what is left of that yellow paint and just using the cosmetic sponge to add in some little areas of yellow. What I really like about that aquarelle pencil, the Neo Color pencil, is that it just blends so beautifully. I'm 
All right, now I'm going to take out some Tim Holtz paper dolls. I believe this is the groups set that came out last year. And I'm just auditioning some different groups of people to see who, which one will look right on this page. And there's this group of five ladies here. And I really like them. I am going to ink the sides of this die cut because it's bright white and it just, it stands out a little too much. There we go. So now we're just seeing where they look right and I figure right there is good. All right. Now I'm going to take a little more gesso and what I'm doing is I am brightening the spot behind these women. Because I really want them to be the focal point. And since our background is so wild, <laughs> I'm going to tone down the area where they will be. It's subtle, but it helps. Um, making sure that they're glued down properly. Now I've got my Stabilo Mark All, Marks All Pencil and I am adding the ground and a little something for them to sit on um, just so they're not floating there in the air. And I am using the same paintbrush from before since it's already wet and I don't need to be too precious. This is a nice flat brush so it's pretty easy to to use in the little nooks and crannies. Okay, so I'm really happy with the way this turned out. Um, the only thing left is to pick a sentiment and I go through all my little packs of, of stickers. Um, I really appreciate everybody watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already, I would love it if you could do that for me. Um, not only will you get a little alert every time I put out a video, you won't miss any of those videos. Um, and I appreciate you watching. So here's a little sentiment. We're going to snip off the edges, find a good spot for it. Um, maybe. I decide I like it better over there. Yeah. There we go going to add just a little bit of glue, especially since I picked up the adhesive a couple times there. We'll just keep it from curling. I'm just going to add a slight amount of the Stabilo All Pencil just to give it a little outline, a little shadow. And that's it. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.